on these, but uh, arm bar speed. Look at the S mark variation. Yeah, this is really hyper smooth. It's actually quite easy to skate. So again, when I get the mind, the knees are pinched, we can step the book, and then the leading more with slight days. Another concept that we talked about, I'm actually not sitting in the car. When you're in the mind and you're like, your hips is this, the second you lift his hips, you're wrong. So I need to make sure that there's a space between my hips and this. Um, so yeah, we don't want to get into the Sorry. position where we're going, what do I do next? We need to put him under pressure so that he makes a mistake. So from here, we're going to win the cross face. And again, it depends on the length of your arm. If you have short arms, your uh, left arm will drop his left jug. If you stick the arm, you just drop it the arm. My hands go to the base. Drop my weight back and bring my shoulder under his chin. So again, this is a choke in itself. The car keeps his head up, his chin up. I can't get the top from here. But a lot of the time, he's going to turn his chin and look away. Okay? Again, this is still very uncomfortable, and I have to put him under pressure. What I want is an open elbow. What I want is for his um, right hand to grab my shoulder and pull it back. The second he does that, just keep it on there. Elbow, and he makes our grip this here, and this is an elbow. And that's when I'm going to fill the space. So, again, from here, I drive my cross face in, put him under pressure, and he makes this grip here. I'm going to slide my left knee up as far as I can. Basically, my right hand grabs the jugular, and bringing my other, my other leg around in the best one. The main um, Escape from the arm bar, this car getting his elbow on, which is why it's, it's, it's a lot harder to get the um, arm bar, say, from Tiger to mine. Because when I, when, I go to, when I go to hit it, my hip has to come off. It has to go higher. As I try to step over, the car's putting his elbow on, but I usually lose it. Okay? So um, I think this variation of the S mount is, is good because your hip. Very early from so very high. So again, from my position, in that cross face, drain that pressure in. If he doesn't make that grip, I'm just gonna keep sticking my shoulder in his face. The minute he makes the grip, my left arm um, knee slides forward, my right arm cups the jugular, and then I swim to this one. My second arm goes above. Carl's ear towards his shoulder, and then I engage my hip. Try to get your elbow to my head, Carl. All my weight to his chest is quite important. So from there, my left arm swims through, grab the thigh, and now I lean towards his legs, and swing my leg over, and I watch my hip doesn't come off the mat, and I keep that Right foot's in the hip, left foot. The second my left foot goes into his ear, I now come out go because I fill the space. Grab the wrist, pinch my knees, thumb up. Good arm bar, you're going to be getting the top long before you're high up. Hot arm bar, no tension in the arm. It's like the slot machines and bars. You need to put the uh, tension in the arm. So, from the mark, my knees are pinched, feet are tucked. Again, I need to make a make a mistake. I want them to do this. Put them under pressure. There's several different ways of doing that. I can do it with an underhook. I can do it with um, what time is a grip. I just concentrate just on the cross face. So I make the cross face. My arms are short. I grab the jugular. My arms are slightly longer. I grab them the armpit. I don't want to be driving this into his face. I receive my weight back to get my, sho my shoulder underneath his chin. And then he's just right there. turning his head. Once he grabs this to try pull the shoulder pressure off, I slide my left knee up as far as I can. My right arm immediately grabs his jugular and I bring him to my hip. This gives me the space to swim. 
it's a little bit outside, like right foot in the mat. When I curl it under, the inside, I put a little close in. All my weight now is across him. So my second hand comes in, I push this into his ear, and then I engage my hips. There's no space, it's very uncomfortable. So from there, if this arm is back, he's, he's brought it back behind, I just fight and I'll swim in with the crook of the arm and bring it forward. Making sure that when I swim this through, I grab my thigh, his elbows in my gut. And to get my leg over, I don't want to lift my hip. I just lean towards his leg and I keep the grip with my right hand until I replace it with my left foot. Find the hip, right hand go, find the wrist, my knees, come up. You put him under pressure. See my way back, drive in, so he makes that grip. I have grab the jugular. Swim into S man. Left hand goes in front of the right, pushes the ear towards the shoulder, engages the hip. If his arm's back here, I'll swim from the inside, bring it across and grab my thigh. Lean towards his legs, it's over. That's my foot, comes in front of his ear, and my other foot's in front of his hip. I can let go of this, my fingers, my knees, come up. Good. Good.